Welcome. In this QuickBooks video, we're going to take a look at creating an accountant's copy in QuickBooks. So what that does for you is it creates a copy of the QuickBooks file for your accountant or bookkeeper so they can work on a portion of the file, say last year in order to do a tax return, something like that. And it allows you to continue to work in the QuickBooks file in the current period. So let's take a quick look. If your accountant will use an accountant's copy, this is how you would uh, make one. I'm going to go to the File drop-down menu, and then down here to Send Company Files, Accountants Copy, Save File. That would be the most common setting. Now, your menu could look just a little bit different. This is QuickBooks 2015 I'm working in here, but it should be very close to this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this Save File. QuickBooks, I'm going to confirm here with QuickBooks that yes, we are making an accountant's copy. I'm going to set a dividing date. Now, the dividing date means that before this date, I really can do very little as the QuickBooks user. It's my accountant or my bookkeeper that will have the most control over the QuickBooks file from the date 12-31-14 uh, back. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working in the more current periods. I'm going to be working in the year 2015 in this example. Okay, QuickBooks wants to know then where do I want to save that. Now in my example here today, I'm using a flash drive, so I just click on this drop down and then find the the flash drive that I have inserted into my computer and then that my computer has given that a letter designation. In this case, it's letter E. So I click on that. Right down here, you see the name that QuickBooks is suggesting for our accountant's copy. I'm fine with that name. I rarely see a case where this needs to be changed. I'm just going to click Save. We'll take just a moment here as QuickBooks works. It's very similar to creating a backup, but it is a very different type of file. So you, you do want to Keep that difference in mind. You've successfully created the accountant's copy. I'll click OK and we're done. So as long as that accountant's copy is out. So the, the, the big difference, the reason it's so important to remember the difference between the backup and the accountant's copy is the accountant's copy, I'm going to be able to import those changes back and, and that's going to save me a lot of work so I want to do that. As long as that accountant's copy is out and I am capable of importing those changes when they come back, I'm going to see this message along the top bar of my program. Accountants changes pending. If I no longer see that, that means I've either imported those changes or I've canceled those changes. QuickBooks has a menu item called Remove Restrictions. You really don't want to use that unless you're sure you're not getting anything back from your accountant. But I'm ready to go. So our next video then will show how to import those changes back into the system. Thanks.